Not weather, but a natural disaster in Indonesia, a major earthquake followed by a devastating tsunami yesterday. Today, the scramble is on for survivors. This morning, at least 380 killed after a tsunami tore through Indonesia. A 10-foot high wall of water triggered by a powerful 7.5 magnitude earthquake wiping out thousands of buildings, cars and homes in Palu City. Surveillance video from inside this shop as the earthquake hit. The injured rushed to already damaged hospitals, many being treated in corridors or outside. Families feared missing as rescuers struggled to search through debris and ongoing aftershocks. The quake striking on the highly active Ring of Fire. Last month, hundreds more were killed in another series of quakes in the area. And in 2004, that massive tsunami that struck the island of Sumatra, killing over 150,000 people. Such a beautiful area of the world, yeah. but they are riddled with these uh, earthquakes and, and mm -hmm. tsunamis that we've seen in the past couple of decades, and unfortunately, we'll continue to see it. Did they know that a tsunami was was coming? Anytime you warning? get a, an earthquake of this magnitude, there's a threat for a tsunami, and they, they, they thought it was coming, but this is pretty close to the epicenter, so they didn't, really didn't have a whole lot of warning time. Oh, that's wow. devastating. Mm -hmm. Certainly hope the best for them Absolutely. and all the rescue crews. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Struggle today. Rob, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.